Right, from the bosses, uh, let's get into uh, that bit of news. Uh, Colendi, a decentralized credit scoring protocol and a microcredit company, say they have the solution for the unbanked and underbanked in Africa. Uh, we have uh, with us uh, Bulent Ekman, who's the co-founder and the CEO. Uh, Bulent, definitely a pleasure speaking to you. Ev almost everything that has been put out uh, in regards to Colendi has been you trying to convince the general population that this is the way to go for credit scoring. Let's start off with some of the details. Uh, nearly 3 billion people are unbanked or underbanked uh, globally. That is as of 2017. But even as we come into this uh, a, a new age of things where blockchain is the one that is the underlying platform for credit scoring, we still don't have the exact details of the kind of magnitude you'd be able to address, knowing very well that that most of them are on smartphones, uh, the ideal target. Uh, speak to us about this. Yeah, sure. The technology uh, for the last decade, I guess, gave us a lot to use. Uh, but using technology gave us a lot of big names, big companies, and the data that you own doesn't belong to you. So uh, it's like for the last uh, decade, we had a lot to uh, at least see what we have done for good and the technology that we use for good was uh, for most of the big names uh, in the ecosystem. Uh, with the decentralized technologies that developed, with the blockchain um, ecosystem developing for the last couple of years, I guess we have enormous uh, opportunities uh, and one of them was uh, why we established Colandi. Uh, for the last uh, 10 years, I'm in the fintech sector, and my last company was a transactional banking uh, company with an e-money license, and we reached more than a million uh, unbanked, underbanked people in Turkey, which is a uh, Middle East uh, country that is very similar to the Africa region, and we believe that there are more people suffering uh, this unbanked, underbanked, and access to finance is a big issue for people. And when we started uh, Colandi, Colandi was uh, started as an idea and become a decentralized protocol, uh, providing a democratized credit uh, scoring and credit worthiness uh, for people who wants to use us and uh, don't give their data to any other company because your data belongs to you. And what, uh, so far what we have done uh, for the ecosystem was developing our protocol and uh, making it available in the test net uh, for people to use. Well, what we um, developed is an identity, a digital self sovereign identity, uh, and a credit score that you can use to access finance. And as I mentioned, uh, in the um, world today, as you also, George, discussed before, uh, we are talking about 2.5 billion people who are unbanked and underbanked. And this will require a lot of sophisticated partnerships lots of technology involvement and lots of uh, uh, hopefully execution power. What we have done uh, for the last uh, two years was developing this technology and now we are ready to launch our protocol uh, for our community. And we are coming with a couple of very good business partners. Right, Bulent, uh, allow me to interject there. You've talked about the 2.5 billion people are unbanked, but we have 44% of the current banked population uh, not eligible for credit, meaning 72% of the world's population is defined as uncredible. This is according to some of the stats that you've given us. Now, you're working on the global financial uh, passport. In that sense, the, your competitors who are not doing what you're doing with the technological advances that you have are the big three. We have uh, Standard & Poor's, Moody's, and Fitch. If you go along with this, that means you will be undoing or uh, uh, probably discrediting most of what the big three has been doing over the last couple of years. I guess uh, people uh, believe a lot of uh, very interesting data sets that, the, that they own and that they create are incredibly valuable. And people's behaviors on the uh, other side changed in the last uh, decade. And we know this sharing economy is good, uh, but when you look at the sharing economy uh, actors or players, uh, likewise uh, Uber or Airbnb or any other guy, they are like the biggest intermediaries at the moment. And they are sucking the 40%, 30% of the value created in this ecosystem. And this is much bigger in banking ecosystem and with much bigger when you are looking uh, on the centralized credit scoring mechanisms. Uh, they approve you or they reject you and they uh, will be delivering you based on their 
uh, financial uh, recourse, nothing else, nothing more. But the democratization of this uh, model will be challenging. Uh, we believe in Colandi uh, that with our uh, decentralized credit scoring and microcredit protocol, uh, we will be launching the protocol soon so that developers can use this and uh, people's credit worthiness and access to any kind of finance. This, this includes merchants become uh, lenders or peer-to-peer -peer lending through credit worthiness scores are going to be available with these distributed apps. And Colendi will be working with a couple of very big names in the upcoming days that we are going to uh, uh, launch. And these launch partners are accumulating millions of people's uh, lives and they touch millions of people's, uh, people's lives. And we hope to solve this problem for global uh, institutions in the upcoming months, if not uh, weeks. Right, Bulant, uh, within your protocol stack, you have the ID, the scoring, and of course, you have the microcredit. Uh, we'd imagine you're not handling this entirely by yourself, or you're not the one handling the reserves. So who within your partners, uh, if you're talking about the global scale of things, is the one doing that? So we have this ecosystem, this decentralized ecosystem, gives us the opportunity to incentivize the partners, developers, or any kind of player in this ecosystem to get inside, and this will uh, be used uh, for everyone's uh, good. And what we will deliver this with this technology will be, um, we start this with a couple of snowball effect guys, like a telecom partner will be onboarding us with a retail partner. And uh, also we will have a couple of big merchants uh, in Turkey, in uh, Indonesia, in uh, Colombia, uh, in uh, hopefully Nigeria. So we will see how will things go for work for them and hopefully the community will pick up from their own and they will use us as a technology stack for their distributed apps or any kind of uh, partnerships will be available for uh, anyone else because we are going to be the developer of this protocol and we are going to open source to the developers or any kind of partners that that want to use us as a partner here so we will be uh, hopefully delivering the uh, ecosystem uh, a stack of uh, incredibly valuable protocol, including an identity, a credit scoring, and a microcredit protocol that they can use through their uh, ecosystems. Right, Bulent, around April, you mentioned that uh, there was a lot of news that uh, you intended to disseminate to the public as the year progresses. So trust me, this is not uh, the last time we're speaking, uh, but uh, due to time, we have to leave it there. Bulen Tekman, uh, CEO and co-founder of uh, Colendi, a comprehensive decentralized credit scoring protocol. Of course, uh, we are seeing blockchain play a huge hand uh, in such companies. We'll definitely be in touch with Bulendi at, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, Bulent at a different time. Right, uh, allow us to take a short break. When you